What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you doing? And welcome to a beautiful day here in Surrey. Today is the day that a lot of you guys and myself have been waiting for. This video is highly anticipated. About a month and a half ago, I launched the video of why I was selling my Lamborghini. A video I never expected to make when I took delivery of the car and a sad one. However, I am so excited. I have made a very calculated decision based on actually driving the car for once and today we're heading down to Southern Sky Motors to collect it. I am so excited, I've had many, many sleepless nights and over the last two weeks, Southern Sky Motors and Dub Customs have been absolutely incredible to make this dream come true. I don't think we could have picked a better day to collect a car. I'm with Sam from Seen Through Glass and his True Blood Jaguar F-Type and we're gonna jump in, head down to Southern Sky Motors. I'm gonna talk about how I am feeling. I am so excited, I cannot express how excited I am. First of all, I'd like to thank every single one of you guys who has been watching my videos on YouTube, been tweeting me, Instagramming for not only being super patient, but all of you guys have been so interactive and I cannot believe just how many people have been getting involved, getting excited about this video, the collection of my brand new car, the Lamborghini replacement. Let's jump in Sam's F-Type and go to Southern Sky Motors. <laughs> yes! Okay, so I think throughout this video, I'm gonna find it very difficult to express just how excited I am about collecting this car in particular. So what I'm going to do now is talk about my emotions and feelings, remembering when I collected my Audi R8, the first supercar, probably back when I collected it, it was more of a supercar than it is now, the way that the car game has moved forward. But the R8, maybe a super sports car. I was so nervous, that car was such a big risk for me that I, my nerves were bigger than any sort of excitement that I had and you can probably tell from the video that is overlaying right now that my facial expressions, I'm just sort of like very, very scared. It's the first car that I've driven that probably had more than 150 brake horsepower. So the huge jump that I had from the R8 was just the nerves got the better of me and even driving that car, I was so nervous about driving it for the first two to three months, so I never really got that initial excitement period of owning that car. It was only when I got used to it, but by then I was already used to it. So it was a fantastic car to own, and probably one of the best driving cars that I have driven with the manual gearbox. But actually owning that car and collecting it, jumping it up from the Vauxhall Astra, it was such a massive step for me. And I suppose now that three or four years on, I can reflect on it and just sort of realize just how big of a step that was. And then obviously the excitement, the build-up of collecting the Lamborghini from Southern Sky Motors back on the 2nd or 3rd of September last year, there was just such a huge excitement and overwhelming feel feeling of just the fact that I'd achieved my dream of owning a Lamborghini by 25, that actually experiencing and remembering the first drive and actually being at Southern Sky, I was more focused about creating the perfect video, the collection and the first drive video, which personally are some of my favorite videos to watch back because just remembering what an awesome day that was. So from the R8, which was a, an everyday super sports car, to the out and out supercar performance of the Gallardo that I had, to now, I'm just so excited. The R8 was a lot of fun to own, but I was very, very nervous about collecting it and driving it. The Lamborghini, again, it was a dream come true. I was excited about achieving the dream, and then I was just so nervous about driving it because that car was so fast on public roads. Not only did it feel fast, it was stupidly fast, not to 60 in about three seconds, not to 100 in probably just over four seconds. So planting your foot down, you had to be very, very careful on public roads. This car that we are collecting, I just cannot wait to get behind the wheel. I really want to keep this car for over 12 months. I cannot wait to put miles on that car and not worry too much. The Lamborghini, because it was so mileage sensitive to the actual price of the car and depreciation, I always felt nervous about driving it and putting the miles on, whereas this car, I will be driving this a lot, I will be making a lot of videos, and it is going to be an ongoing project, tinkering with it, customizing it. I'm tempted to do body kits, aftermarket wheels, spoilers, exhaust systems, anything is possible on this car that we are going to collect. So hopefully you guys are still watching and, and not skipping as we head over to Southern Sky Motors, but I just wanted to try and get my feelings and emotions across talking about my previous car collections, the Audi R8 and also the Lamborghini Gallardo. So this car, I am more excited about than I was the other two probably put together. So that just proves 
how excited I am about this car, but then the future for Supercars of London, the videos that I'm gonna make, and the trips that we're gonna go on. So I cannot wait. And Sam? I'm excited too. Thanks. So as you can see, we are now down at Southern Sky Motors. This is usually where I start my videos actually, which is where they are currently expanding their showroom all the way around. It is coming along nicely. And the reason why I am here is because round the corner, Southern Sky are setting up my car right in front of the sign for you guys to see and for me to unveil for the first time on Supercars of London. I am so, so excited. Usually they do the car handover, like where I collected my Lamborghini from from inside the showroom and we drive out but however today with the sun shining we wanted to put the car right outside in front they've got two other cars in stock a Jaguar and a Bentley which um, kind of ignore and just check out the car that is sitting in the middle which is my car here we go let's walk around the side and unveil my new car I'm so excited and basically the idea is let's just walk <laughs> I'm so excited. The car looks amazing. This is something that I never thought that I was actually going to buy this car. And just from driving it, from looking at it a lot, doing a lot of research, reviews, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my brand new 2015 Mercedes Benz AMG GTS. Five, four, three, two, one. Three. You crazy mother. So as you can see, the car has already been wrapped by Dub Customs. The car has been there for about two weeks. So this has been a secret that I've been keeping under wraps. And the first time that I announced that I was working behind the scenes hard on my next car was actually when things were getting put into motion so that I could collect this car and take it to Dub Customs for them to wrap. They have done an amazing job, as you would expect from the guys down there. It is wrapped in true blood, the same as what my Lamborghini was, and also the same as Sam's Jaguar F-Type, which is gonna be epic for photos together when we drive down, convoy down to mo towards Monaco, which I'm gonna be talking about in the next video on Supercars of London. Let's talk about the spec on this car and why I picked this example of the AMG GTS. So Dub Customs have completely de-chromed the car, which we've got the black gloss grille across the front there. We have gone for the massive multi-spoke AMG wheels with the red brake calipers, which look fantastic against the true blood. For everyone that said you need to put red brake calipers on the Lamborghini, well, I was waiting to do it on the Mercedes. We've gone black badges, black exhaust tips, and also gone for gloss black along the trim along the bottom there and then in typical dub custom style they have customized the gts there which just suits the car so well this car looks absolutely stunning in true blood and i am completely blown away with the finished article with the sun out it is a beautiful day to collect the car southern sky have completely outdone themselves this time with a deal on the amg and the way that it was all pulled together in time for our european road trip so i'd just like to say a huge Huge thank you to the guys down at Southern Sky, but also the guys who have been working their socks off at Dub Customs to have this car ready for today so that I could create this video and collect the car for you. So what I'm gonna do now is show you the inside of the car, talk to you about the spec of the inside, why I am so excited to pick this car up, and then let's go for a drive. So sitting inside the brand new AMG GTS. And when I say brand new, this car is a 2015, early 2016 car with less than 1,000 miles on the clock, which means it is still in the running in period. So driving away and for the next 500, 600 miles or so, I'm gonna have to take it easy, keep it below 4,500 RPM and just be careful because this car is technically still new. So it needs to be treated properly so that for the duration of ownership on this car and 
then when I sell it on as well, it is well looked after and maintained. To begin with, we have gone with the red and the black classic comfort seats, which basically feel like I'm sitting on a cloud or a very, very comfy living room sofa. And the interior is where the AMG GTS excels so much. Not only have we got the perfect microfiber all the way around, steering wheel with all of the buttons here, the paddles, but the center console is by far the coolest design on any car in my opinion. We've got gloss piano black all down here. We've got loads of different buttons here. We've also got the sports exhaust, which is the button here, so the valves can open. So from factory, this car sounds incredible. This car has got the driving assist package. It has also got the premium package, and it has also got the dynamic plus package, which all collectively together make this car one of the best spec AMG GTSs there are. For example, the premium package gives me the panoramic sunroof. It it gives me 10 speaker surround sound Burmester, amazing speakers. We've also got AMG illuminated stainless steel kick plates and it comes with the reversing camera and dynamic guidelines. So that's the premium pack. And this car in general is just something I am so excited about. So well done for everyone who suggested or even guessed that I was going to be getting an AMG GTS as the Lamborghini replacement. And there is such a hot debate at the moment whether this is a supercar it's definitely got supercar performance from when I drove it, but it is just a fantastic car in every single sense of what you need a car to be. It is fantastic at the long motorway cars, so it's the perfect GT car. When you take it onto the country tight twisty roads and you've got heat in the tires, it is as quick as the Lamborghini and probably a lot more fun to drive. But then if you've got cold tires with AMG badge, you know that that car is gonna be pretty tail happy and being rear wheel drive as well, I'm gonna be looking forward to just getting to know this car, getting to learn it, well, just drive it for as many miles as I can because I know that I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy driving that car. And for me as well, now that it is wrapped in true blood, this thing is a blank canvas for me. So like I said previously in the video, I am going to be looking at potentially aftermarket wheels, I am going to be looking at potential body kits, front splitters, side skirts, rear diffusers, spoilers, exhaust systems, everything. So for all of you guys that have been commenting across the social media platform of Supercars of London and Wallace PJW asking whether it's going to have an exhaust system, what is, it going to, what is going to happen to the car. Over the next 12 months, this is going to be a very, very exciting project to keep your eyes on. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Let's jump in, start this car up, and I suppose go for a first drive. I'm so excited to get behind the wheel and put miles on this car. So let's get the key and jump in. I completely forgot that this one was recording as well because we've got Sam recording as well. So here we go. We are now leaving Southern Sky Motors. I'm putting the spoiler up and I have got the long AMG nose in front of me. I'm so excited to drive this car. This thing is amazing. Oh, it slides! <laughs> I need to go back and get just. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so good as well when you boost it. It's like. <laughs> so of course, we're driving the car in auto, but Sport Plus. So we've got the sports exhaust valves open. We have got the full microfiber steering wheel. It just feels so nice on my fingerless gloves. But, oh my God, my heart is pounding. My, my legs feel like jelly. I just cannot believe that the AMG is the car that has replaced the Lamborghini. There is gonna be a debate as to whether this is the right replacement. Everyone's obviously entitled to their own opinion. A lot of people were suggesting Aston Martin, McLaren, and of course, Ferrari and Lamborghini, but for me, there was really only one car that could replace it. And I just, it was so frustrating for me having to keep it in and be a little bit secretive on the social media. But hopefully now we can all just get involved, 
start to enjoy this car, start to enjoy the journey that this car is going to bring on Supercars of London. And I think we are gonna have a lot of fun in this car. I am so excited to own this car, to be driving this car. <sighs> my, my heart is seriously, seriously pounding. I'm just cruising at the moment because I'm just trying to take it all in. The Lamborghini was a serious experience for me and I learned a lot just from buying, owning that car and now I have got this car, potentially one of the best built supercars out there. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope, I hope that you are pleased with my decision and I hope that you love this car because I absolutely love this thing already. And for long motorway miles, cruise control, comfort seats, this car is amazing. Mountain roads, country roads that were demolished by the Lamborghini, but also Sam with the F-Type demolished them as well. And, and the Jaguar is certainly a GT car. This is going to demolish those country roads just as much as the Lamborghini. I'm probably gonna have more fun because I'm gonna be a little bit more comfortable in this. So. I just think this is the win-win situation, the perfect replacement. It drives sublimely for those that have driven an AMG GTS, or if you haven't, go and check out the likes of Chris Harris's review on it. Go and check out some of the guys in America that have driven this car, everyone that drives this car. This car featured in the final of Evo Car of the Year, so that's how good this car is. <laughs> So the RA I had an epic fail with when I broke the button to open this. The Lamborghini, I couldn't push the button so that it wouldn't open, whereas this, second time lucky. This is its second ever full tank. And we are out in the sticks. So let's see how much it costs. The Lamborghini was about 80 quid. 65 quid. 61 litres. Coming up to 62 litres. So I knew it was going to be cheaper than the, than the Lambo, but this is a lot cheaper. So ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. The collection of my brand new Mercedes-Benz AMG GTS. The collection video is sadly over. What a fantastic day. And again, huge thank you to Southern Sky Motors and Dub Customs for making this all possible. And also thank you to Mercedes for building such an incredible car. The content to come on Supercars of London is going to be insane. Tomorrow I am announcing the European drive, where we're going, what cars are coming, including this, so that hopefully you guys can get to see it as well. We're going to be down at Top Marks. So make sure that you subscribe to Supercars of London if you haven't already, because this has been a huge, huge day for me. And I would just like to say thank you to all of you guys for the incredible support that you're giving me on Supercars of London. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and hopefully you can love this car as much as me. We're going to have a lot of fun on Supercars of London. So thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow because the daily videos begin right now. Cheers guys.